Hi, I'm Mark Bryant, and welcome to our Big South Basketball Preview for the 2019-2020 season. Very happy to have with me now Hampton men's basketball coach Edward Joyner, Jr. Coach, thank you for the time. I appreciate you having me. Now, you guys finished real strong at the end last year. You were above 500 in conference games. Nice postseason run. Got to the CIT semis. Coming off of that and going into this season, what are your expectations? Uh, I mean, as everybody else, our expectations are high. Uh, again, we enjoy the CIT run, but you actually want to get to the NCAA tournament. So that's everybody's goal right now, starting with a regular season, then a conference tournament, and hopefully an NCAA tournament, you know, after that. Uh, but again, I am pleased with the way we finished the season. Uh, we were happy with the way our guys played, and we felt like we sent our seniors out with a bang. Well, talking about uh, some of the players you have, everyone thinks Jermaine Merrow right away, as well they should. Average better than 24 points a game. How are you helping him continue his growth, and who else is going to be helping in the scoring department this year? Well, I mean, we're hoping Greg Hextall, uh, who finished the season four strong last year. I think he averaged close to a double-double in the last six, seven ball games of the year. Uh, we brought in a couple of new kids, Davion Warren, uh, junior college transfer, uh, Ed Oliver Hampton, another junior college transfer, uh, amongst five or six, seven other guys, you know, to try to help that low form. Uh, one thing that, that we thought was important for Jermaine going into next year was not just being a scorer, but also creating for other people, which helps you create for yourself because you now have to be accountable for more than just him. But again, I'm not going to sell him short. He's, he's the engine that makes us go. So we'll go as he goes. Well, you have an idea now what to expect from the conference season. As you, as you look toward the non-conference schedule, what game or games are you and the team looking forward to? Well, first of all, you do have William & Mary, uh, local rivalry game that we've played every year since I've been here. Um, we are, we're pretty excited about that. We will go to them. Uh, we got one stretch uh, uh, during December, the first week in December. You got the University, University of Richmond. And then our natural rivals, Howard and Norfolk, will both be on campus all doing, doing in a one week span. So we're excited about that. Uh, we do have to go up and play the University of Illinois, uh, University of San Francisco, and Cal State Bakersfield. Uh, we will make that run, that stretch run. And then you got teams like Kent State, uh, Southern Illinois. You know, we, we, we felt like we put together a non conference schedule that can get us ready for, for Big South play because, you know, it, it, last year was, I think, again, as we talked about before, we were different than everybody else from the standpoint. We felt like we had 30 non-conference games, you know, where we knew that, that teams would have to get used to us, but that we're one team. We had to get used to everybody. So, you know, it, it was a tough task at times, but I think the guys finished strong. So we look forward to seeing how this season pans out for everybody, and we wish you and all the Pirates good luck this year. And we thank you for watching another edition of our Big South Basketball Preview for the 2019-2020 season.